Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to be planning in my Dollar Tree planner, which is my social media planner. This is week 26 of the year. This is the washi tape that I'll be using for the week of June 24th through June 30th. I had a little bleed through from the previous week, but we're going to work over that. These are digital downloads. Um, the day covers are freebie that are available on my website at scrapcraftastic.com. And the dolls are digital downloads that are available from JDM Brooklyn. You can use my code Rochelle20 to save 20%. I'm using the dark blue date covers. Again, these are free on my website. You can cut them with a silhouette or Cricut, or you can cut them by hand. And if you're interested in uh, date cover-ups, I also recently uploaded a video that shows how to make your own date covers. So I'll put that information in the eye above and in the description box below so you can go check that out. I'm using blue, which is something that I don't normally do. So I'm kind of stepping outside of my box this week and going with something a little different. I thought that the black and white uh, thin washi, which I think was part of the Mambi thin washi set, would work with the colors that I chose. I'm going to alternate that with another washi to kind of emphasize the division between the days. This blue washi tape with the bows and silver foil is from MJ and Hope. And again, I'm just gonna alternate that with the black and white stripe to divide the days, but I'm gonna go ahead and place down the doll from JDM Brooklyn. She's the style big hair doll. So here I'm just going in and adding the rest of the washi. Usually um, when I'm planning, I like to use a wide washi, but since this is a smaller uh, planner, it's five by seven, B6 size. I didn't want to take up too much space because I'm also decorating with other stickers, but I also thought it was a great opportunity to use the thin washi that I rarely use. I was using it quite a bit when I was doing from scratch spreads, but with a regular planner spread, I don't use thin washi that much. So this was a good opportunity to use that. And it doesn't overpower the page. So if you haven't tried that, you might want to give it a shot just to try thin washi instead of all thick washi. So here I was thinking of going with this denim looking blue, but I didn't like the look of that. So I chose this gradient blue. It's like a purplish, bluish color. This was part of that washi that was really sought after a few years ago, back when they had the watercolor washi with the words on it. This was all um, from back in that era. <laughs> This is one of the tubes that I just had to have and really I don't use it that much, but I'm trying to do better and use what I have. So these are the sticker books from Walmart and I'm just flipping through trying to find the book with the blue stickers. I wasn't sure which one it was, but it is this one here. So I'm looking through to find stickers that will coordinate with the color scheme that I chose for this spread.
And I'm going to use this wide strip with the stripes on it to cover where I had the bleed through on Wednesday. And then I was thinking I could go for a layered look. So if I need to, I need more space to write for Wednesday, then I'll have a functional box that I can layer over that and still have space to write. And then I'm going to use these small boxes to make my own colorful list. So I'm just going to stack those pretty much the way they are in the sticker book, just change the color scheme a little bit. And here I'm gonna use this other full box to tie in with the stripe box on the left on Wednesday, just to balance off the spread. And here I'm gonna do a list box for Monday, because usually Monday I have all these things that I wanna accomplish for the week. So I like to have plenty of space to list at the beginning of my weeks. And now moving on to a little bit of decor, I'm going to add this work hard sticker to Wednesday. Again, doing a little layering. Then I'm going to add this to do sticker layering over the checklist box on Monday. And here I'm going to use this ideas box to layer on Wednesday again giving me a little more space to write if I need it and just seeing where I'm at making sure everything is down on the page and this is colorful boxes this was the first one and I went to this one because it has the silver boxes and my foil this week is silver. So kind of trying to stick with that. I don't mind mixing foils, but I try to stick with one if I can. Here is just a decorative strip from the Walmart book in black and white to tie in with the black and white washi that I used. And it also adds a little layering effect for the silver foil box that I'm going to use. I decided not to use that one because it's a little too big. We're going for a smaller size. Then I'm also going to use this blue box, if I can decide which one to use, to layer over the full box on Friday. So again, giving me more space to write if I need it. Then I decided that I wanted to use a different set of numbers for the dates. These stickers are clear, so if I just place them over the dates that are already in the planner, they would show up. So I'm going to use a little white out to just cover up those dates. This white out is from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'm going to cover up those dates and then use the stickers. I thought the stickers were a nice touch and I really need to use what I have. So I really want to use my date stickers. I tend to just hold on to them and think, well, one day I'm going to need to redate something and I'm not going to have them. But there's so many options for date stickers, I'll be fine. I mean, just like I made the date cover-ups, if I really need date stickers, I have stamps and self-adhesive paper, I can make my own date stickers.
and I think they look really nice a little more more bold than the font that was used to create this planner This is this is color story. And I'm just going to use this smile sticker to cover up the calendars up at the top. And this is Gold Star Quotes. And I'm just looking for a nice quote to put at the top left. And I'm going to use the C'est la vie. Then down on Sunday, I'm going to put Make Your Move. Then on Monday, I put Press On. I need inspiration to carry me through the week, especially lately, so, yeah. Just checking out, seeing where I'm at. And I'm gonna go in and add my word stickers, do my new release stickers, my PR post stickers, the things that I try to stick with every week my buffer stickers I've been doing really well since I've been doing this with keeping my buffer full so it is really helping it's also helping to remind me of my PR posts And then I'm just putting down one of the JDM Brooklyn neutral work stickers because we're working this week. And I'm using one of the Gold Mining Coco Peyton dolls to show crafting because hopefully I'll be able to do some crafting on Friday and Saturday. So I kind of put her in between. And then I'm going to use Peyton on the laptop. Um, to kind of help me remember that I need to post on my blog. I'm really bad with that. I really need to work on my blog area of my website. I'm gonna use this next week sticker so that I, well, it's planned next week to help me remember, don't wait until the last minute to start planning the next week. I'm gonna use my Instagram icon and a Facebook icon because this is a social media planner. So, and I have more icons for social media coming. I can't wait to get those to use in this planner. So now I'm gonna go in with my Papermate Flare and note that I want to try to record every day this week. Even if I don't edit, I want to record at least one video a day. And I want to try to get at least two blog posts this week so I can focus on blog posts on Tuesday. I have a lot on my plate. I also have Patreon now if you're interested. The link is in the description box below. I would love to have you over there join us. Um, I have some exclusive things that will only be available over there. I'm not sure if I'll just do exclusive videos, but there will be um, digital downloads, files, inserts, graphics, and I'll also be sharing more of my personal life and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for this week's social media spread. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.